Hello and welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson and I'm down here in the basement doing maintenance. So I thought it was a perfect time to go ahead and do another reef vlog. So if you remember my last reef vlog, I said I didn't have time to do a lot of maintenance and that was absolutely the case and I'm paying the price for it today. So I've gone through and I've cleaned my protein skimmer out. I've replaced carbon and GFO and most importantly, I got the bio pellet reactor back online. So, as you can see, I'm running just a very few bio pellets in there. Sorry for the lighting, guys. It's just kind of an impromptu video. But the new reactor, I think, is really cool because of this. Basically, what screwed me last time on the bio pellet reactor was the top. It used a, basically a sewer clean out that leaked every time you tried to mess with it. So when it was hard to mess with, I didn't, so I would put lots of bio pellets in at once instead of just a few, and I ended up crashing my tank. Well, now you see that big two-inch valve on top. Basically, what I can do is I can shut that valve off, which will stop water flowing into the bio pellet reactor, open that valve on top of the bio pellet reactor, and add bio pellets slowly. So I can add really small amounts of bio pellets if I want to. So as it consumes bio pellets, I can add more bio pellets really easily. So since this will be easy, I'm more likely to do it, and I'll be a lot better off for it. So a lot of you have also been asking, why go back to the bio pellets if you're not having any nitrate problems now? Well, I've got a 450 gallon system with all of these frag tanks and the tank upstairs and I'm still battling lots of this red cotton candy out. Now, I would buy a bunch of Mexican turbo snails, but they're out of season. So I'm waiting for those guys to come back in season. Now, I'm not showing any nitrates, but with the growth I'm getting off of that red cotton candy algae, clearly there's some nutrients in this system. So I need to battle that a little bit, which is why I put just a tiny amount of bio pellets in there not very much at all so that's I think gonna work but remember I've got eight tangs up there there's 20 fish or so in that 210 gallon tank it's a very heavily loaded system so I want to be I want to design this system to really do a good job over the long haul right now I still don't have any nitrates in this system but I want it to stay that way I don't want to have to be battling them in the future so the bio pellet reactor is on. I think this new setup's really cool, and I'm gonna run just a couple cups of bio pellets until until I have a problem. I might even let run less. What you see right now is about a cup and a half. It's not a lot of bio pellets. Really, it's kind of what they recommend for like 100 gallons of water. Now, the other problem I had since I wasn't doing maintenance was the drip had stopped on my calcium reactor. So because I wasn't doing maintenance, I wasn't testing, and my calcium reactor stopped dripping out, and my alkalinity has fallen to 4.1. I didn't notice the low alkalinity because of anything wrong in the tank. All of the corals are doing really well. The only minor issues, I've actually got a little fighting going on between those two Maniporas. Everything looks great. So I didn't notice it because of that. I noticed it because of testing. So I tested my alkalinity, came in at 4.1. The tank looks good. So step one is just don't freak out. I'm gonna bring that alkalinity up, but I'm gonna take my time to do it. I'm gonna dose maybe 200 mLs today of the BRS two part. And then tomorrow I'll do a test on my alkalinity, see where I'm at and then I'll probably dose some more with the long-term goal of getting it up to about seven and a half. Now, remember, I have fixed the flow on the alkalinity or on the calcium reactor, so I'm expecting a little rise in the alkalinity from the calcium reactor anyways. Now, the idea behind a calcium reactor is that it's not going to just bring up the alkalinity on its own. It's going to be good at holding it. So I'm going to bring that up and then try to let the calcium reactor do its thing but as you can see 
the tank looks fantastic. So while the alkalinity is low, there's absolutely nothing to freak out about. Anyways, I thought I'd quick take this quick opportunity to do a quick reef vlog and tell you guys that I'm getting maintenance done. Yeah, not doing maintenance kind of screws yourself. So anyways, I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.